I'm here today at the Hellenic Club of WA for the Tanzanian Independence Day Celebration Dance. 55 years from colonial rule and the Tanzanian community is here tonight to celebrate in full force. Tonight is typical being Tanzanian shock in Africa and it's just about food, uh, networking and having fun. That's it. Yeah, and dancing, lots of dancing. <laughs> Tanzania is a very open-minded culture. We came from where we are English colonized and we are all well educated. We came to this country, we have always been know how to speak English and uh, yes, we have a very educated background people and yeah, so we inter integration for us is not, it's nothing foreign for us. Being there and done that, yeah. <laughs> Tanzania is known as a very friendly country or sometimes we even um, they even call it little Geneva because Tanzania is a peaceful country with a host to many refugees from Rwanda from Burundi from Congo it was in the front line during the struggle for independence of Zimbabwe of Angola of Namibia and it was in the front, uh, one of the frontline states um, against apartheid so Tanzania is friendly Tanzania is a country that uh, works hard to ensure that the rest of Africa is free from um, colonial bondage so I would say Tanzania is a peace-loving country and it cherishes people's freedom and Tanzania is not free if the rest of Africa is still under uh, colonial bondage. So economic dependence that we have is something that Tanzanians are fighting against or are working uh, towards eradicating. So, and we go by the slogan of Hapakazitu, which is our current president known best for uh, President Magufuli, talks about Hapakazitu. Tanzanians are hardworking people Tanzania is a rich country in human resources and natural resources. I can summarize Tanzania is a very, very, oh, the soul of Africa, I can say, because that is our motto. Me, as the Tanzania's Tourism Ambassador, we know that our slogan now is Tanzania, the soul of Africa. <laughs> in love events like this so we meet together we change ideas yes, that's how you can make it uh, Tanzania coming strong our unity does not have to continue to be a dream open your heart and let it be a vision which inspires I'm from Kenya but they sound the same and uh, we, we share our music so they're very much the same and that's what I'm gonna be playing tonight more bongo get people to know where like remember home, it's the independence. People have fought so hard to give us all the independence, so we have to appreciate the, the people who made it happen. So and that's why it's so important for community to meet up and share love, yeah. I am from Tanzania. I was born in Tanzania and I've been here about 36 years. So I've always been part of the Tanzanian community. I love Tanzania, so I'm always part of it. So I love the people, always very friendly, the food is amazing, the clothing uh, is amazing, as you can see, jewellery, everything. I just love everything about it. Unity has been one key word that, or one um, motto that Tanzania uh, has been promoting since independence. Our motto during independence was Uhuru na Umoja. Uhuru na Umoja means freedom and unity, and that was the former, the first president of Tanzania, Julius Kambarage Nyerere. So we grew up with Uhuru na Umoja, Tanzania. Tanzanians are very united people. Tanzanians are very generous and welcoming, friendly people. We have doctors, we have teachers, um, we have women who are engaged in uh, various economic activities here in Australia. 
and they are participating fully in economic, cultural and political development of um, Tanzania, Africa and all over the world where the Tanzanian diaspora is. So this is very, very important. I'm Angela Albuquerque for Undercurrent.